The court has issued an order that is favorable to the defendants in the case known as Enri Ripple Labs, which includes Ripple Labs, XRPI ILC, and CEO Brad Garlinghouse. This is the most recent development in the case. The ruling was issued as a result of a request made jointly by both parties to proceed with the final judgment and maintain a stay on the class claims filed by the plaintiff. According to the most recent document submitted to the court in the case of in re Ripple Labs litigation, Judge Phyllis Hamilton has approved a joint petition to delay proceedings and to enter a final decision. Ripple Labs, XRPI ILLC, and CEO Brad Garlinghouse are the defendants in this case, and the court has decided to uphold the decision in their favor. Within the context of the plaintiff's class claims that were resolved in favor of the defendants in the court's order and opinion granting in part and denying in part defendant's motion for summary judgment, the court has determined that it is appropriate to make a final judgment per Rule 54B. Within the context of the XRP litigation, the court issued an order that ruled in favor of Ripple and Brad Garlinghouse among the plaintiff's class action claims. Among the class claims are those that include unregistered offers and sales of securities, liabilities of Ripple and Brad Garlinghouse as control persons, and breaches of California securities legislation. In a motion that was submitted to the court one month ago, Ripple asked for a stay on individual state law claims until they were resolved, as well as a final decision on plaintiff class action legal claims. Additionally, the court requested that the parties to resolve the ongoing disagreement that was associated with an individual claim explore an alternate resolution. In addition, the court decided to dismiss any attendant pretrial dates and set the trial date for January 21st of the following year. After any or all of the appeals of the class claims have been resolved, the court will announce new dates for the proceedings. The Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States has brought accusations against Ripple Labs Chief Executive Officer Brad Garlinghouse and Executive Chairman Chris Larson in the case known as CC versus Ripple Labs. In appealing the decision made by Judge Annalisa Torres, the market players have expressed their disapproval of the agency. The promise that Donald Trump made regarding the clarity of cryptocurrency regulations sped up the discussion that was taking place over the termination or dismissal of the XRP litigation following his arrival in the White House. Trump also stated that Gary Gensler should be terminated from his position. Chris Icavella, the president of the American Securities Association, requested Gary Gensler to step down from his position as chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission. According to Ripple's chief technology officer, David Schwartz, and other top-tier attorneys, the lawsuit is likely to be dismissed. The Ripple SEC Act action can be dismissed or resolved at any time, according to attorney Fred Rispoli, even though he considers the dismissal of the XRP case to be unrealistic, a settlement appears to be inevitable. As a consequence of the lawsuit that the SEC filed against Ripple, fears have been expressed over the possibility of an increase in the value of the cryptocurrency market that is greater than $10,000 XRP. In the future, it is anticipated that the firm will be responsible for a substantial number of financial transactions, which might potentially bring its worth to a level of $10,000. The final resolution of the ongoing dispute between the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple is a significant component that is dependent upon this climb. Nevertheless, this rise is dependent on a significant component to be realized. At the present moment, institutional investors have classified Ripple as a security. This classification may result in a settlement, because there are already two choices that are being considered. The Securities and Exchange Commission first submitted a request for a settlement that was rather substantial, totaling $770 million. This request was made at the outset of the process. It was their contempt and shame that this request was made according to those who specialize in legal matters. An unusual turn of events was brought about as a result of the Securities and Exchange Commission's response, which was a more reasonable request of only $20 million. Ripple declined this offer, which resulted in an unusual turn of events when it was finally accepted. John Deaton, a legal expert, believes that this would be a big victory for Ripple, providing them with a 90% lead over their competitors. This would be a significant triumph for Ripple. However, recent data indicate that the Securities and Exchange Commission may be writing an agreement that is even more advantageous for Ripple. This is something that has been coming to light recently. Even though the deadline for settlement, which was on November 9th, has already passed without any fresh developments occurring, this is the situation that has occurred. Given that Ripple Labs does not appear to be comfortable with either of the first two ideas, it would indicate that a third offer that is more appealing from a practical standpoint is now being developed. This is because Ripple Labs is not satisfied with either of the earlier two ideas. The Securities and Exchange Commission is interested in reaching a settlement 
which might result in the Ripple CC action being resolved with minor fines, potentially even less than the $20 million that was proposed was belay. This would be a positive outcome for the SEC. This is one of the outcomes that may occur. There are a lot of countries that are showing interest in Ripple and its labs, one of which is Dubai, which is located in the Middle East. Additionally, the financial authorities in Dubai have provided their clearance for the use of XRP for a broad variety of payment purposes across the country. This approval was issued in Dubai. Ripple Labs is being integrated into the operations of hundreds of institutions daily, while the Central Bank of Japan has begun the process of integrating XRP for worldwide transactions. Both of these developments are occurring simultaneously. In each of these cases, the advancements are worth mentioning. The required price of XRP currency may probably increase as a consequence of Ripple's extension of its activities outside the area of cross-border payments to embrace a broad variety of other businesses. This growth is expected to take place before the end of the year. In addition, Ripple's purpose is to position itself as the leading player in a new market, specifically the tokenization of real estate. This is the case since Ripple is a cryptocurrency cryptocurrency. Ripple has made great progress toward becoming a market worth $5 trillion, notably in the domain of real estate tokenization, as was revealed in a groundbreaking article that was published on July 10th, 2023 of the same year. The article was released simultaneously with the publication of the article. The creation of this company can be linked to a crucial tweet that was put out by Anthony Welfare. This connection can be made because of the relationship that can be made between the two. In this tweet, he highlighted the growing popularity of central bank digital currencies on a global scale, as well as Ripple's CBDC team, which is focused on developing practical applications for a central bank digital currency or stablecoin. It was this particular tweet that acted as the impetus for the development of this entrepreneurial venture. As we move beyond the year 2024, we are predicting that there will be a significant bull run in cryptocurrencies, which will have a significant influence on the lives of people. When the economy is expanding, strategic holdings that are formed at this time have the potential to magnify benefits. That being said, this is although he might not be a staunch advocate for it. Bank of America, which is a big participant in the financial market in the United States and is also one of the most prominent partners of Ripple, is getting ready to take a significant step that has the potential to open up new opportunities in the financial sector. This action is expected to take place shortly. There is a good chance that Buffett considers Bank of America to be more advantageous than other banking shares due to the strategic stance that the corporation takes, particularly during times of economic turmoil. Buffett's most valuable asset, which is estimated to be worth $1.03 billion, is a clear indication of his confidence in the path that Bank of America is on. Because we are currently navigating through an impending recession, this is especially an important point to keep in mind. The use of Ripple technology by HSBC is a step toward the adoption of digital asset transformations in the year 2023.